on Tuesday and installed on the port side of the Harmony module of the International Space Station. Again, this was video captured about uh, 30 minutes or so ago of the opening of the payload bay doors. Uh, the radiators were deployed uh, to provide uh, heat uh, rejection from the avionics uh, on board the orbiter. Everything went very well. The crew currently in the process of deploying the dish-shaped KU band communications antenna off the starboard sill of Discovery. The uh, opening of the payload bay doors actually occurred uh, as uh, the orbiter was flying uh, about uh, 195 miles above Texas. Currently, uh, Discovery and its seven crew members are flying from northwest uh, to southeast in an orbit inclined 51.6 degrees to either side of the equator over the uh, Sahara Desert in pursuit of the International Space Station that has just crossed the equator. About 50 minutes from now, uh, both orbital maneuvering system engines uh, will be used uh, in the next uh, rendezvous maneuver called the NC-1 burn. This is a course correction maneuver to further fine-tune Discovery's path to the International Space Station. The first uh, orbital maneuvering system burn that occurred uh, some 38 minutes into the flight uh, was designed to uh, virtually circularize Discovery's orbit after it reached its preliminary orbit uh, following launch from the Kennedy Space Center. It was in a highly elliptical orbit, uh, the first OMS-2 maneuver, as it was known, the 2-minute, 44-second firing of both orbital maneuvering system engines uh, virtually circularized the orbit, the NC-1 burn, of uh, both orbital maneuvering system engines coming up in 50 minutes will uh, further refine Discovery's path to the International Space Station, further rendezvous maneuvers on tap that will lead to the docking of Discovery to the complex on Monday afternoon. Houston, we've got a beautiful view. The current uh, story with that left orbital maneuvering system engine gimbling system, the secondary actuator system uh, for the left orbital maneuvering system engine, uh, it uh, incurred a failure of both of its transducers uh, during Discovery's climb to orbit. That's indicative of a hard failure of its electrical path, although further engineering evaluation is required. Discovery, we're having a little bit of ready calm here. Stand by. Discovery Houston, your go for orbit ops, and I was just saying that we had a nice view uh, out the payload bay through the Estel system of the Kibo module and Texas in the background. Ascent uh, spacecraft communicator Terry Vertz uh, handing over uh, to the Orbit 2 team. Uh, Flight Director Norm Knight has now handed over to Flight Director Mike Serafin, uh, the spacecraft communicator for the next shift. The Orbit 2 team is astronaut Al Drew. Thanks for the update. The uh, nickname Hawk belongs to Discovery's pilot, Ken Ham. The crew in the process of uh, getting out of its launch and entry suits, getting into more comfortable clothing and beginning the process of unstowing laptop computers and other equipment that will be used over the course of the next two weeks in orbit. Once again, uh, the secondary or backup actuator system that enables uh, the left orbital maneuvering system engine. Uh, you're looking at it right now in this uh, fading view of uh, video that was captured about 40 or so minutes ago at the time of payload bay door opening. These two large orbital maneuvering system engines are at the rear of the shuttle flanking the vertical tail fin to provide uh, the major impetus uh, for large uh, orbital adjustment maneuvers uh, that take place during the course of any shuttle flight and are also used in tandem for the deorbit burn at the end of the mission to enable the shuttle to drop out of orbit for its hour-long descent back to its landing strip at the Kennedy Space Center. The secondary or backup actuator system that enables the left orbital maneuvering system engine to gimbal or swivel uh, encountered a failure of both of its transducers uh, during ascent indicative of an electrical failure.
That uh, will have no impact on the mission. That uh, left Ohm's engine can still be used, but will be parked after it is utilized uh, in conjunction with the right orbital maneuvering system engine for the next uh, rendezvous burn that's coming up in 46 minutes. So the engine can be used, the left orbital maneuvering system engine can be used. It simply will be parked in place until landing day when it will uh, become active once again in a gimbling or swiveling capacity for the deorbit burn uh, to enable Discovery to drop out of orbit for its return to Earth. Again, no impact on mission operations. So with the payload bay doors open and uh, with the KU band communications antenna having been deployed, uh, the go for orbital operations uh, was given by Flight Director Norm Knight. Uh, the mission now underway to deliver the large Kibo Science Laboratory uh, to the International Space Station with docking to the station scheduled for Monday afternoon. Right before uh, the handover was complete, right at the end of the crew news, uh, the post-launch news conference.